We're now going to graph a nonlinear inequality. And graphing a nonlinear inequality is very similar to graphing a linear inequality. We still pretend that our inequality is an equation, graph it, make it solid or dashed as appropriate, and then choose a region to shade. But now they're not straight lines anymore, and so that makes it look just a little bit different. So here's the one we're going to graph. We're going to let y be less than or equal to x squared minus 2. Well, x squared minus 2, this is a nice parabola, and it shifted 2 down. So it's going to start here, and it gets the following points. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 more. And so here's our parabola using transformations. And it's solid because it's an or equals. But now we want to know when is this true. So again, we just pick a point that's not on the graph. So I'm going to pick this one, 0, 0. And it's going to tell me. If 0, 0 is true, then I shade this region. If it's false, there's only one other region to shade, so I can just jump straight to it. Otherwise, I just rule this one out. So 0, 0. We plug it in. We get 0 is less than or equal to 0 squared minus 2 which is 0 minus 2. 0 is not less than minus 2, so this region gets ruled out. Instead, I shade the outside. And so this becomes my graph. And we finished the problem.